Oh, and we're going to quickly install the um, step wedges that are from the Sea Dew Spark Tricks. Uh, these are 2016 sparks. Um, they can be added to any Sea Dew Spark. This is what it looks like before. And then the kit just adds onto this. You have to remove this back panel. If you're doing it on a 3 up, you have to remove the extension and the back panel. These step wedges, uh, I already removed this, but I just rested it back on. You're going to remove these caps. You don't need these anymore. Um, and then you install, you just temporarily slide in the supports. So these supports just slide into these two grooves right here. So those slide in. And then you take the wedge and you rest it in place. And then once it's in the right spot, you mark on the back with a marker where your new holes are going to be. So I have these already marked on both sides. And then you need a 12 millimeter drill bit or 1532 inch holes. Um, you don't have to remove the entire top, you just have to remove this back deck. Um, and you've removed the rear bumpers right here and then and then all the screws that are attached. I was able to pull it out, but it was but it was pretty hard. Um, so what I did, because I knew it was going to be hard to put back in, um, I just removed these ones. So I'm not going to remove the whole top deck, but to get that back in, it's going to be a lot easier, the fact that I can lift this up. What it has you do in these instructions, you have to replace this screw or the nut on the back side of this. See, these are normally like this. And they want you to replace four of them with these kind. So the four they're having you replace are this one, this one, so the two outer ones, and then the two inner ones. So to remove these old nuts, what you wanna do is stick something inside of it and just push it that direction. Okay, so this, there's the old one, and then you're going to be putting in these new ones. These in, make sure this tab is towards the back, and then push it all the way in. Make sure that when you flip it over, you can see the threads through the hole, because you want to make sure they line up I drill a pilot hole first so that way when I use the 15 30 second drill bit it doesn't slip away it'll just rest right in there So then it wants you to put in these pieces, which have a nut on the bottom. And you slide them in. These are in. Kind of hard to push in. Okay, after you put in those, you need to reinstall this back on the back. Might need two people for this. Before you install the back, I would recommend putting the nuts in through the bolts and just to make sure that the threads line up properly before installing them. These ones you can probably leave in, um, but in order to reinstall it, you're going to have to take out these ones.
I just gotta make sure. Okay, wait, hold on, let me see. Okay, when you're sticking this back in, that thing in the back needs to line up with these holes. So you're gonna wanna look inside and make sure you can see, you're gonna wanna make sure that that lines up. So I could see it in there, so I just took like a Allen wrench and stuck it in there and just made sure that the thing lined up. Same, same thing with this side. I kinda see it better on this one. So you can see it's lined up. And if it's not lined up, just stick something in there and kind of like wiggle it around until it lines up. You reattach all your uh, screws. And the bottoms have the washers and the nuts. I'm still going through and doing all these. When I took them off, I kept them in order just so... I'm sure it doesn't matter, but I just kept them in order so that way they would fit exactly how I took them off. I still have the other side to do. And then put back on the back caps. After you get the rear bumper back on the whole back panel you're gonna stick on these support brackets you can see there's these little hooks down here they just slide into there I'm gonna have to unscrew this to get it on okay so it just slides in those two tabs go under the plastic And do the same thing on the other side. See that we had to remove both of these to get the back panel off. But when you put the step on, you're only screwing into here, 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 and here. So you need to make sure you reattach this one prior to putting on the step. We have that other bolt in. You're going to install these. i to take this out again. And you're going to be using these screws. There's six of them. The other ones are longer. Okay, you're going to use the short ones here, here, and here. And then you're going to use the long ones in here. Make sure to put the oval washers in here. So far I have this one, this one, and this one in. The way these ones work, that rubber thing you put in, as you tighten this, that rubber expands because the bolt or the nut on the other side is attached to the bottom of the rubber. So as you tighten this underneath the panel, the rubber is expanding, sandwiching. It's kind of like a drywall anchor where it's going to sandwich it in between here and the underside of this. That's it. So that's original and that's what the mon 